Welcome back to Boomer's Playground. So today we're going to be going over coding exercise 50. Um, I'm very sorry that I messed up the recordings when I switched over to my MacBook Air. Um, I had the resolution wrong. Um, and I'm really sad because I had never actually used dot .sum or dot .every until that video. <laughs> so I'm thinking you guys might have gained something from it, so I don't know. But uh, let's go over it again and I'm going to pretend like I don't know what it is. Um, so first off, we need to do a function again, create all evens function, um, single array of nums param, um, if all nums are even, return true, if not all nums are even, return false. Okay, cool. So let's pop over here, we'll do this, and let's go see what that sum and dot every do. Okay, so every, it tests whether all the elements in array pass the test implemented by the provided function. Okay, so that, that seems like that's probably the one we're going to want to use, but what does what does sum do? The sum method tests whether at least one element in the array passes. Okay. That's kind of cool to know both of them, right? Um, in our instance, you know, we want all of them, but let's uh, let's just do cat. We'll do all even. Well, we probably shouldn't do that. We'll just do a. And don't do like if you're in a coding, um, if you're in an interview or when you're doing like actual code, don't do this. This is bad. Name it. Name it properly. Um, that way, when other people come back and work on it, um, they'll kind of they'll be able to read it better. Also, if I was interviewing, like, I don't think this is going to be a huge, huge concern for a lot of people, but imagine if, like, me and you were interviewing, and we were the exact same in every way, shape, or form. I did the code like this, but you did array of even nums. That may be the thing that changes their mind on who they pick, because they're like, well, you know, that other person, you know, their variable names were, like, way better. And that it doesn't seem like much, but that does play a pretty big factor um, nowadays, especially in like, you know, the JavaScript world. So, um, all right, zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And we'll do array of random nums. I'll just do zero, one. I know it's not really random, but. Okay, so let's just make sure we really do understand what dot sum and dot every are. So um, we'll just do all evens. And let's go over the dot sum first. So again, dot sum uh, just checks as long as one element passes, we'll get true. So we'll do array of random nums dot sum. And then just like everything else, we have our callback with the thing. And then here, um, let's see, we'll do num modulo two equals zero. So if you guys don't remember, the modulo two just takes whatever the number is, it divides it by two and gives you back the remainder. So if the number is even, it will it will evenly divide it, and two will evenly divide into it. And so zero is what we'll get back. So like, you know, Four divided by two is two with no remainder. Um, four divided by actually let's do uh, let's do three divided by two is one with a remainder of a half, right? And so that's why that module thing works. So here we have that, and then let's do um, we'll just do all even is one, and here we'll do every. Okay, so if I'm understanding these right, we're gonna have all evens should be false, and all evens one should be true. And it wouldn't be if I don't change this to the correct array to loop over. 
And so the reason I think this is, well, that, oh, I take that back. So they should both be true. Because that sum just makes sure that every, every item, or sorry, that sum just checks if one item matches it. Okay, so here's, okay, that's what I meant to do. Sorry, guys. So all evens should be true. All evens one should be false. All right, and that's what we get. And again, all evens is that sum. So as long as one of these numbers is even, this is true. And that's the case. Zero is, two is, but it doesn't really matter. As long as one of them is. And then we have all evens one, which is every number. It checks every number. And obviously one isn't, three isn't, five isn't, seven. So that's why that's going to be false. Okay, cool. So that's pretty neat. So every is probably going to be what we want to use. All right, so let's actually get into the thing. So let's do our all evens function. And then yeah, we're just gonna go for that. And then that's gonna take an array of numbers. Let's do nums. And then here, um, so we can do is all even. And we're gonna set that equal to nums because that's the array that we're gonna be given. And then we do that every, and I'm pretty much just copying from up here. Num, num divided by two equals zero. And then that will get all even will be true or false. And then we got to this return is all even because if we want access to it outside of the function, that's just what you got to do. So we're done with that. So let's test it real quick. So we'll just do again so zero, one. Two, three, zero, two, four, six. And then let's just see. Let's just make sure what we got going on is what we want. three and four just so we can make sure because for some reason I don't know what's saving me right now. Okay, cool. So the first one is false because they're not all even and the second one is true because they are all even. Okay, I'd say that's pretty satisfactory. So let's do that. And let's check it out. Awesome, and we got it. And then if you guys remember, if all we're doing is using this to hold something, we can just get rid of that guy and we can make it even. We can make it even shorter. And there we go. That was exercise 50. Um, I hope you guys learned something. If you guys have questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.